you're getting to know the real me. And from his time frame, you know, they didn't like to be on camera. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to grab I'm trying to grab Give my all to you. I will never lie to you. Hey, y'all. I know I'm getting bald headed, scaly whack, but it's because my hair is braided. I'm about to go to brunch with a friend. Um, so I think I'm about to try to film my get ready with me because this is probably the perfect time to do it because everybody's still asleep. So, if you're wondering why I look like this, I really look like I'm bald headed. You <sighs> guys, you're getting to know the real me. <laughs> okay. So, welcome to this Get Ready With Me. I know I look terrible, but we're gonna pull it together. So first thing I'm gonna do is start off with my wiggy wig. Y'all, I love this wig. It's a synthetic wig, and it is called the Nisha. And when I say it matches my hair to the T, I mean, I be wearing clip pants too sometimes, but this wig only cost me $40. And y'all know I'm cheap. So, my little cute little style. I usually like to leave my hair out and then um, blend it in. So I know I'm a bra headed, but my hair is <laughs> been back. So I don't see, I might not need to, I like wearing it like this because I feel like it looks natural, you know? Definitely the same with her. And then I like to do like a flip over method situation. I usually just bring this hair over. It's, it's a lot, but I need to do my edges first. And then I'll put like some cute little curls in it. You know, nothing crazy. Anyways, I had a uh, rope, oh, I had posted a few times for y'all to ask me questions, and I have them right here. Granted, it's not a lot, but I did have some and I've accumulated them over time, so I wanted to uh, answer some of the questions. So I'm gonna get right into it. I am in Russian, because I wanna be on time. Um, the first question says, how do you get brands to send you product? How do you get brands to send you product when you don't have a large following? I uh, do UGC. <laughs> if you have been following me on my channel for a while, you've heard me probably talk about it. I'm always talking about it. Basically, UGC is, um for like creators like myself that don't have large followings and that are not really influencers but they're more so um creators so basically i create content for brands i send it to the brand i give them full rights and they you know promote it on their page i don't have to even necessarily um promote it on my page i mean if i want to i can but uh yeah a lot of times brands will, you know, reach out to me. But also by building your following up on social media, brands will reach out to you like, hey, can I send you something? You know, and um, that happens pretty often. So that's how I guess you can say I uh, get brands to send me stuff or why brands send me stuff. Um, the question says, how come you never show your husband on camera? <laughs> I do. Um, one. Uh, he doesn't like to be, I keep meaning to ask y'all if I can say y'all name or whatever. Um, but, um, my husband does not like to be on camera. You know, uh, it's just not his thing. You know, nothing against anybody that want to be on camera. I mean, he does make appearances here or there, but, uh, for the most part, y'all probably will never see him like that. I am trying to get him to do a, uh, video with me. As far as everything, but baby don't like to be on camera. He just don't. You know, he a little older. And from his time frame, you know, they didn't like to be on camera. I feel like I've answered this question before, but, um, and I mean, I'm, I answered it in the same way, but yeah. He does not like, you know, you know, camera. He's like, babe, that's your thing. You know, I support you. And, uh, yeah, he just doesn't like to be on camera. So that's that. So we just gonna have to. Thank <laughs> you.
can you please talk more about UGC? Yes, y'all. If y'all are watching my um Glocktober series or whatever, I really am. I'm gonna I plan on doing some um like UGC, what I do in a day as a UGC creator, um, how to get brands to uh, you know like how to reach out how to send emails my email template so stay tuned for that i highly recommend that y'all watch my blocked over whole series whatever you want to call it because i'm gonna be showing some stuff because i want to help moms because uh, you know it's a really cool side hustle and it's fun and you know it's plenty of money for everybody i don't need to gatekeep um i think coming up in one of my vlogs i even show y'all some of or I give y'all some uh <clears throat> emails like email list to brands where y'all where I've tracked them down and you know y'all can reach out to them so stay tuned for that because it's coming it's coming what would you do if your husband was cheating on you <laughs> obviously the mature thing is we, we would obviously have a conversation I would it depends you know um, that's a tricky question I hope that's not your situation um yeah that's a tricky question i would i don't want to be one of those type of women to be like i would leave his ass because that's really what i want to say but honestly me personally i would evaluate the situation i don't think that's the most important thing to do i'm gonna take some of this and it down. i would evaluate the situation first I'm not saying that you know you could have drawn him to cheat on you but or whoever you're talking about but I would, you know, evaluate the situation. I, of course, it's typical to be like, I'll leave his ass. But, you know, marriage is work. It takes time, you know. Um, it's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And, um, you know, if it's worth fighting for, I would fight for my marriage and get a better understanding. But it would be hard to trust a person again. But people um, work things out all the time. So... Yeah, never know. Come on. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm just gonna tie this down. Just okay. I'll take my scarf, y'all. And then I'll just do this while I do my makeup. Hopefully, your husband didn't cheat on you because that's messed up. That ain't cool. Okay. The next question says, what do you enjoy most about being married? <laughs> um, that I have a best friend for life. Like, no matter what. It's so funny, y'all. I've been going through a journey where I've personally just been trying to, you know, have some friends and have, you know, or whatever. And it just, for some reason, never seems to work out. But I'm praying for the best. But... I love that being married, I always have a best friend, like no matter what, me and my husband, even if we have a disagreement, um, you know, even if we're not on the same page when it comes to something, we always find a way back to each other and I love that. And we 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 know how to have a good time when we, whether we got money, don't got money, we just are always having a good time and I love that. So that's the one thing that I, there's so many different things I enjoy about being married but that is definitely one of them that's my best friend i don't see how people be saying like their husband is not their best or their spouse is not their best friend like how is that possible um but you know geez, geez, geez. the next thing said have you ever played never have i ever right is that it? never have i ever uh i mean no um no, I haven't, I guess, but, okay, I said for y'all to ask me questions, and somebody, well, I guess that is a question, I don't know, but no, I technically, girl, of course my camera died because she's a hater, so this might be a failed chit-chat, get ready with me, I might just put it in the vlog, but, um, I think the, uh, where I left off was, somebody had asked me, basically, was I going to actually coach? And I was saying that, like, I don't want to charge nobody no money, but, like, people be wanting me to do, maybe, cartwheels and backflips for free. <laughs> you know? Um, and 
I don't know. So I think I'm just going to just share tips. Like really, really good tips. And I don't know. I feel like God going to take care of me regardless. Like, why you got to capitalize off of every single thing? You know what I mean? Like, I just genuinely want to help young moms, young women, whoever that wants to watch, you know, my videos. And just like a journey. Maybe I'll even do, like, how to create a portfolio. You know what I'm saying? But I probably won't for now. Right now. At the moment. I charge nobody. It's, it's, it's just, I can't. <laughs> Not right now. I ain't there yet to be trying to charge somebody. You know what I mean? That be the thing. People be ain't got their shit together, but put the lip liner on, baby. Okay, y'all. So <laughs> I was trying to film a uh, chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm always trying to film a chit chat. Get ready with me when I'm rushing, and I need to stop doing it because it don't ever work out. So I may just put it in the vlog and go from there because. I'd be asking, like, you know, obviously we're having a false, a, a small following at the moment because she growing. Um, I don't get as many questions, so I have to let them accumulate over time. So I try to answer some questions, y'all, for anybody that has, uh, you know, asked me. I hopefully that helped. Mostly it was all about like UGC type of stuff, and I did have a few like marriage questions. Somebody actually asked me, um, what would you do if you found out that your husband was cheating on you? Um, I really, really hope and pray that that's not your situation. Maybe it could have just been a general statement. Um, so I don't know, but we're going to get more into like talking about marriage and all of that. I'm really excited um, to do that with y'all. So stay tuned for that. But I'm about to go meet a friend, a, a sister, like this, this, this beautiful woman is so sweet. I'm a see how she feels about me vlog i don't really like to vlog people especially if it's like my first encounter with them and it's been some time so i may you know y'all know me i'm gonna get an aesthetic I gotta get an aesthetic but um i'm really just i'm really excited to meet her because it's like i prayed for this and it's ironically how she reached out to me and i'm like girl god be god be doing what he do you know what i mean and i and i mess with that so we're gonna go have us some brunch a little mommy brunch um time and yeah so um i may or may not show y'all i may see y'all in a minute who knows we'll see <laughs> uh, but just wanted to let y'all know that's what i was doing and the chit chat get ready with me it's kind of a fail so see you guys in a second okay <laughs> restaurant and people like Veronica right this way. Well, no, let me tell you something. So with me, I used to actually own a beauty salon. Like mm -hmm. I used to own a hair salon. Mm -hmm. So when I owned a hair salon, I, cause I went to school for cosmetology, right. I broke, you know? Yeah. So I had to make some money while I was in Las Vegas. Yeah. Cause I was about to be one of them. Yeah. So anyways, I was doing hair on the side. I ended up going to school to get my cosmetology license because mm -hmm. I was like, why are my little outfits in dollars but everybody else's is 30? Right. So I went ahead and I got my license. But while I was in school, I really like doing nails. Well, mm -hmm. for some reason, like, my nails definitely look like how it did when, you know, you go to nail salon. Yeah. And I was like, well, I need to be taught. Yeah. So I went to a Vietnamese salon, and they taught me everything from the time mm -hmm. of, like, the way that you hold the nail polish. Everything. Yeah. So I really enjoy the craft and art of the professional yeah. of nail artists. Mm -hmm. So when I go to get to the nail salon, when they're working hard, I pay them. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about me. Everyone always tells me, like my drivers in New York, my nail, not nail salons, like I have different nail salons in different cities where I go to, yeah. different freighters that I go to, mm -hmm. I always tip them very, very well yeah. because they take good care of me. Yeah. Now the first time, they be kind of skipping, but then they start realizing like, oh, okay. Yeah, she, 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 she about the, yeah, 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 she about their life. But I'm about that life because I respect people that are in the service. In that and service. what I do normally yeah. is human services. But yeah. you know, the beauty industry as well, they deserve to be paid well. Yeah, they absolutely. Cause they do a lot, and you gotta deal with all these different type of people. Period. And they attitude. Mm -hmm. I'm a little picky. Not really. They sound simple. They be like, bro, you want your nails right. color? Stop. You don't want to design with a diamond mm -hmm. and a hook and a. Now I'm gonna lie. I did fuck up period when I was in Miami. Oh. I had a little house in Key Largo, so I'm gonna go to Miami. I was, you know, mm -hmm. get my little ghetto nails, but I stopped. <clears throat> So, yeah, it be too much. It's too much. It's too I was there for three hours. You getting hooked on stuff, and I can't yeah. wipe my boot. It's yes. a lot. Oh my God. 
The gems be popping off. I said, okay. Uh-uh. But they were so pretty. They they do be cute, but it's just it's not my. I'm a very simple like I'm a nude. I don't yes, wear a lot of color. I um, match at all times, whatever the occasion is. Yeah, I'm very just, like white black nude. Yep, I was reading a cosmetologist cosmetologist a um, little article, and they called it rich girl nude. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's it's like that pinky kind of color. Just something simple. That's why yes. I love skim so much because it's just like nudes. Yeah. Yes. You know like, she makes know. all of her employees wear nude colors. No, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, I'm enough. I am the color. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, like, everything else is an accessory. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yep. You know, you put a little red lip red lip on. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's all you need. Especially when your face is boring. Yeah. Yeah. A little lash, a red yes. lip. That's all you need. Yeah. You ain't got to do all that. That's why I don't be doing all that. Like, back in the day, baby, I used to have the white dots up here, yes. a diamond stuff. <laughs> Make a look. Where are you going? Right. You're going to Walmart. Thank you. Calm down. But I was like, I want them to know I do makeup. Yeah. Like, it's real. Mm -hmm. It's not that serious. Let's just keep it. Yeah. You don't need to do all that. Yeah. You know what I mean? The makeup artists be simple. They look great. Hey, the people that can do hair, they hair be looking a mess. Why is that? It was me. It was me. <laughs> Why you ain't do it? Why you ain't did your hair? Man. I used to do clipping. That was the most I've done. Micro links. I had went through a micro link stage. It was my. Love it. I I have really thick hair though, so that's my. I can't do it. It lasts for about two weeks, and paying all that money. And back in the day, this is when they was cheaper. Like now, I like tape ins. I don't know if you ever tried tape ins, because they have like, but you gotta get kinky ones. See, as you can see, this wig right here that I got on, I don't be, I don't got time for the silky stuff, because that's not how my hair looks. I'm wasting my time. My edges ain't blended. So they have kinky hoodie tape ins. Yeah. yeah. I need to get a light one. I need a hair stylist. I have not found a hairstylist that can be like, so rock and all of a sudden, oh, you know hair, mm -hmm. or it's gonna be blown out. Yeah. I want some kinky curly, blown out, yeah. blonde. Yeah. Girl, I got you. Um, Cause I have, you know, I have brands that send me hair all the time. I like to the point where I'm like, can y'all stop? Cause it's, I don't have nowhere to put this shit. Really? Yeah, so if I get some, if I get some more, so I'll... So you're like viral like that, like social media I mean, influencer. I wouldn't say viral. Well, since you're an influencer. I wouldn't say that. I don't you like saying. You are an influencer. I'm not. I'm a you creator. Are. Girl, whatever. They say, if brands send you stuff, you're an influencer. I'm not. I only have 7,000 followers. You have more than me. So that lets you know that I'm not an influencer. I don't consider myself an influencer. I'm a UGC creator. I send my, I more so give the brands right to use the content instead of like wagering my audience like a typical influencer. Like they need a large following. I don't, you can have zero following to do what I do. That's why I be trying to, anybody can do what I do. I basically create content for a brand, send it to them and they post it on their page. I don't even have to post it on my page. And they'll be like, hey, here's $3,000 for this or here's, you know, that's how I do it. So it ain't the same. Y'all, Vicky, well, Veronica, this is her professional name. This has been. I'm sorry. I be saying. I, no, that's what I used to say that too. I'm sorry. It's the same way. Um, I be trying to correct myself. When we grow up together, it counts. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I be like, yeah. Vicky, all Veronica. my brothers' friends, everybody from the neighborhood call me. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. this is this this Vicky right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But y'all, this is like my childhood big sister. You know what I mean? Like she took me under her wing at Ball State a long, 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 long time ago, and she has just progressed into this amazing millionaire boss wife mom you know what i mean and i'm i'm just trying to i'm trying to you know i manifested it and it was just crazy how like when you reached out to me i'm like all right right because you know that's how but i always say that's how boss moves like because i could have been like oh girl like maybe in a couple of weeks but i was like hell no yeah you want to come on because i was like i was like you know like let me, let me know your schedule i was like you know i live in the now <laughs> right okay once i'm on place to do something they be like so when is this when they're new they're right. like when would you like me to get that back to you i'm like and i'm ready right now yeah all my all my people would have worked me for a while you be ready like, in two hours now like, between now and now point oh <laughs> right like, what right so yeah i love that yeah. <laughs>